Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel. If you're new to this channel, my name is Amra and this is Amra's Beauty Blog. I'm a freelance makeup artist with a passion for all things beauty. If you're a subscriber, then a welcome return. If you like this video, then please don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell for weekly uploads. Oh. Today, I am gonna be talking about Chanel. You may have noticed that I did a recent review on their new lipsticks and I have a little surprise for you. I actually went back and I picked some more because I love these so much. I actually went with my mum. My mum helped me choose some new shades. So as you know, I think there were eight in total and I picked up, I think it was two initially. And I went back and I picked up four. <laughs> of course I did, but because I thought the formula was so good, there was still a good offer on at the time. There was only one shade that had sold out, which was number seven. And I ordered that online, which has now come through. And I wanted to show you all four shades in one go. So I picked up the Rouge Allure, of course, Velvet, and it is their Luminous Matte Lip Color. They're all limited edition. Rouge Allure Velvet Nuit Blanche, but that is the title. And my God, yeah, I have four shades. I need to show you these shades. Obviously, you know more about it from the previous video, so I'll link the previous video below. This is an additional gone back for more because I like these so much. They are limited edition, hence the reason why I've gone back to get them. The only two shades I didn't get were the two sort of deeper shades because the time of year now, I'm not gonna really use those as much as say these shades. So I thought go with the shades that I'm gonna use more. And if it's still available come sort of autumn, winter, I might pick those last two shades up but for now I'm happy with these pieces now they are zero one five and seven as we all know seven is the lightest shade so I thought let's go with seven first and then we'll go with five and then we'll go with one and then we'll go with zero so at least we'll go backwards they all represent an hour in the night as we all know I'm not going to talk too much in this one I'm just going to apply it and then I'm going to give you my thoughts after at the end. So we'll start off with number seven. This was the one that sold out immediately. I don't know why. I do know why, because the shade is so wearable. It's the one that's the lightest out of all of them, but I think it's because it suits a lot of people who have fairer skin tone, and I think it was just a very popular shade. So I managed to get this. It was sold out. I went to John Lewis. I went to the Chanel Boutique. I went to anywhere that sold Chanel lipsticks that had this range, and it it was sold out everywhere. So I managed to get online, which I'm very, very happy about. So let me show you the color. So it's in the sleek packaging that we knew from the previous one with the Chanel logo at the top. And I will show you the shade. So this is the lightest one. Now, I was a bit scared about this one when it first launched because I thought it would be too light on me. But when I swatched it in store and I tried it on, it's actually a really complimentary pink. And you'll see why when I put it on. So this is a shade. It's gorgeous, isn't it? This is the number seven. So seven in the morning. I'm not usually up by then. <laughs> Sometimes I am. But this is number seven. So let's do a hand swatch of number seven and then I'll do a full hand swatch at the end of all the shades that I picked up together. So this is number seven. Seven in the morning. So this is number seven, seven in the morning. Let's apply it together now. That's a gorgeous pink. What's interesting is I thought that this would be really too light on me purely because I have pigmented lips, but it gives a really gorgeous, fresh morning feel. It's a color that I can imagine wearing on a Sunday morning when I just want something that's a little bit light and fresh, maybe that I could use on a Zoom call or when I'm having a meeting. I just think it's the perfect shape. It's not too bold, but it shows that you've got something on your lips. So this is seven, the one that's sold out everywhere. So 
So let's move on to the next shade. This is number five. This one is the one that I thought I could wear in the evening. Very nice as an evening shade, but like if you had like a kind of biker chick look going on. Right, so let's do a hand swatch of number five. Gorgeous. So let's try number five. Well, that's a pretty shade. This is number five. Five AM. So the next shade we're going to do is shade number one. So 1 a.m. What are you doing at 1 a.m.? Normally I'm trying to sleep but can't sleep. It's be interesting shade. So let's take a look at 1 a.m. So this is 1 a.m. More like a kind of orangey shade. So let's do a hand swatch for 1 a.m. Gorgeous. Okay, so let's try the shade 1 a.m. Gorgeous. So this is the shade 1 a.m. So the final shade we're going to look at is shade Midnight. Okay, so let's do a hand swatch for Midnight. So let's put on this final shade, which is the colour Midnight. It's gorgeous. This is the shade Midnight. So those are all the shades. What I'm gonna do now is just show you all of the shades side by side. And so you have all four of them. I might even add the two that I had from the previous video so that you can see all of the six shades that I've bought. I may as well just bought all eight. So I will show you those. And then after that, I will give you my final thoughts. So here are the swatches of the six shades that I picked out of the eight. So we've got midnight, one, two, three, and then we have five and seven. Those are the shades that I thought would look good on my skin tone. So those are all of the lipsticks. I have the final shade on now. I wanted to just quickly give you my thoughts on this collection. You probably heard what I thought about it from my previous video. The reason I went back for more was I loved the formula. I loved the choice in shades. I thought there were more better shades or shades that would suit me even more. So I went back and that's why I kind of wanted to film this again to show you how good this collection is. What I love about all of the shades is that they cater for all skin tones and that's really hard to find with lipsticks because especially a collection like this where it's limited edition, 
I'm very, very pleased with the launch of these. This launch has been so successful. I've heard a lot of people talk about this and hold it in sort of high regard because it was just such a great launch. That's everything. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you enjoyed the swatches and these additional colours that I've picked up. And please let me know your thoughts. Are you picking up more? I'm sure you might be. If you are, let me know. Or if you're thinking maybe you'll wait for another collection, it'd be great to hear your thoughts. Please don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell and I'll see you in my next video. Thank you.